Alright guys, welcome back to another M Critter lore video. Today what we're going to be working on is some textures for limestone and this will allow us to make quick lime and we're going to probably make a few different textures, uh, probably cobbled um, limestone as well as um, a uh, more damaged version of that. So. Uh, I just started with kind of like getting kind of like a pale green color and then I just started kind of working in the textures I want it to be similar to regular stone, but uh, Something that's a little bit different that can be uh, easily determined by the color in the dimension so uh, Basically what this will allow us to do is it will allow us to make quick lime uh, through a process um, Which will will later on actually set up the mechanics and stuff uh, but uh, the basically we need quick lime in order to increase the pH level uh, I think that would be probably the best way to do it uh, before uh, like in the Edwardian period uh, there were, they used to use uh, quick lime on their fields actually to get the um, pH level and stuff stabilized so it should help with the actual um like the uh fertilizer and stuff like that like the overall mechanics so the next thing i wanted to do was work on the cobbled texture and then i just kind of started designing some shapes trying to follow the pattern of the edges so i could basically know where to uh put the seams and stuff like that so as i kind of swirled over and stuff i just kind of started working with the outline and then I started filling it in with some shading and trying to keep to roughly the edges where it would connect to the other parts so for example the corner piece is going to connect to the other corner pieces and the side top and bottom will connect as well as the left and right so I, I kept this in mind when I was actually designing the actual texture itself so I could basically know where everything is uh, once I got the two uh, medium textures in, I could start adding a little bit more detail uh, with the lighter and darker ones. So the first one that I wanted to actually add was basically just some highlights. And I ended up going back and um, making that a little bit brighter because it was a little hard to see on the texture. There wasn't enough contrast. So I did end up uh, replacing that uh, later on in the video. So. But I wanted to basically add a few different um, uh, a few different shades, and as you can see, it's starting to really pop out now, so that's a lot better. Um, the next thing that I worked on was the, I believe the quick I quick lime item. So the item that we'll get from basically making quick lime, and I needed to actually design a texture. So I'm just basically outlining a rough shape and then adding you know, more s curves and stuff to it as I progress to kind of get the shape that I want for the the rock itself. So I'm basically just outlining the shading, adding a few different details, and then I'm basically filling it in with the um, lighter colors as I progress to the other side. Now, the reason why I'm doing it this way is because then I can get that texture for the item as well. Um, wanted to make sure that there was a little bit of highlights and stuff in mixed within the texture itself so as if it was like kind of sparkling a little bit but not totally sparkling but you know like you know there's determination of there's different shades in there this is where i started playing around with the contrast for the white parts and stuff i believe i updated it right about now to the other textures so i basically went in ahead and did that and I was pretty happy with the outcome of the item. It looks pretty good. So I was happy with that. I just tweaked a few little minor things in the pixels just to kind of see if I can't get it a little bit more um, unique for the style. And it looks pretty good for a rock for the most part. So I just wanted to add a little bit extra detail. And this is where I started implementing the uh, darker shade just to kind of outline the... Um, edge of the item as well. Uh, a lot of Minecraft items actually use this method and um, just thought I would end up using it. Now this was a little bit too dark so I ended up just kind of lowering the contrast a little bit more 
and just a little bit more after that just so it's a little bit darker where it, the dark shades don't mix but it's still something that we can use so i was pretty happy with this design and then the last thing that i wanted to do was work on a, a quick lime um cobbled quick lime or something like that uh or i think i called it quick lime block and what this is is it's a uh, basically a cracked version of this block here so i basically just updated the uh seams and then i just basically went ahead and uh added some cracks to the stones themselves so it will be a different texture and then i would be able to go ahead and um use this for the mechanics that I'm, I'm thinking about uh, for the quick lime process. So uh, I'm going to try to keep it as quick or like as accurate to making quick lime as possible. So I'm going to see if I can't create new mechanics for creating quick lime. Uh, but this will take a little bit of time to actually figure out and stuff like that in game. So, but it shouldn't be too hard to do. I just need to, um, kind of get a system set up where we can actually do that all right so these are the textures and the next thing that I needed to do was bring into M crater and then I just need to import blocks and select the blocks themselves I do realize at this point though that I added the item as well to the blocks We'll fix that in next episode. But outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.